Even though Jill Stein has been critical of Hillary Clinton, she's putting aside her differences uh, and is being objective, and she's calling for a full recount in several key states where there were just simply voting irregularities uh, that benefited Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton, and she's also taken into account the opinion of computer scientists. So according to The Guardian, her move came amid calls for recounts or audits of the election results by groups of academics and activists concerned that foreign hackers may have interfered with election systems. Donald Trump won unexpected and narrow victories against Hillary Clinton in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin and may yet win Michigan, where a result has not yet been declared. Now, since she launched this effort, Jill Stein has raised more than $6 million, so we will, in fact, be able to afford a recount in all three of those states. Now, Hillary Clinton's team has officially signed on to this initiative, and Jill's effort has gained so much traction that even Donald Trump has decided to come out and attack her, calling the Green Party a scam. Now, 538 contends that the voting irregularities can be explained by demographics, not fraud, and that's probably true, but there's no harm in doing a recount. And let me just say this, do I think that this will likely change the overall result? No, I don't expect it to. But... I think that there's no harm in doing a recount. Now, some people are skeptical of Jill Stein and are wondering why all of a sudden she's taking a seemingly pro-Clinton stance because she only wants to do a recount in the states that Donald Trump won. Well, I don't think that's what this is about. She's taking a pro-democracy stance if you really do want to commit election fraud, are you going to do it in Multnomah County, Oregon, which is always going to be blue? No, you're going to do it in a purple state, which is where you're most likely to see more fuckery, particularly in these counties that tend to decide the states themselves. It makes sense to do them where fraud is most likely to occur. Now, again, it's most likely the case that this isn't actually fraud, and 538 is probably right, but there's nothing wrong with just making sure everything is copacetic and that there's no craziness going on. Why would anyone not want to count the votes and to be sure that they are counted accurately? What we know is that uh, there were lots of hacks taking place around this election, hacks into voter databases, into party databases, into individual email accounts. And what we also know, unfortunately, is that the equipment that we use, much of it is not just open to hacks, it, it basically invites hacks and malfeasance, tampering, human error, etc. Some of the voting machines in use in Wisconsin, for example, have actually been prohibited in the state of California because they've basically been proven to be wide open to tampering. So what we're saying is, you know, not that... Um, uh, you know, hacking or fraud has necessarily taken place. I don't think we have evidence of that. But I think it's uh, only natural and it's good for Americans to be reassured that our votes are counted, especially after such a divisive and bitter election where 80% of Americans, according to a New York Times poll, basically said they were disgusted with this election. They didn't like the candidates that we were limited to. They were screaming for open debates and other choices. It was a very bitter election where so many people were voting against their worst fear rather than for the candidate that they wanted. I think this is a very positive step. And the fact that it has basically funded itself overnight reflects the incredible hunger out there among the American people to actually start doing something positive and to start creating an election system that we can believe in. And look, really, the red flag here is that the exit polls are really far off. And in foreign countries, if exit polls are off and they exceed the margin of error, then that automatically triggers a recount. So let's do the recount. I support this move. Let's just ensure that, uh, you know, everything went smoothly. And if it turns out that Donald Trump did, in fact, win legitimately, then cool. There's no harm in doing a recount. And I definitely support this initiative because I think Jill Stein, like many of us, we just care about democracy and maintaining the integrity of our democracy. And regardless of who wins, we just need to make sure that the result was fair. And I see no harm in doing a recount, none whatsoever. Now, many uh, pro-Clinton Democrats are getting on board with this, and they're finally supporting Jill Stein. But my question is, uh, where were you guys during the primaries? Because one report estimates that Bernie Sanders lost 184 pledged delegates due to voting irregularities. And when we spoke out about that, 
uh, we were called conspiracy theorists. So now that Hillary Clinton, uh, she is disadvantaged by voting anomalies, all of a sudden it's not conspiracy theory to worry about the integrity of our election and want to recount. You know, it's just frustrating. It's just really frustrating because uh, I just want people to be consistent. I want them to uh, stand up for democracy and democratic integrity no matter what, no matter if it helps or harms their candidate. And that's something that I've advocated for uh, all the time. And so, look, if you see voting irregularities, that's a problem. We should do a recount. Yes, it is the case that exit polls do not match a lot of the time. And the fact that exit polls often don't match the actual election results it's troubling. So either we need to improve how we do exit polls, we need to become more accurate, or something's going on. We don't know, but there's no harm in doing a recount. I think it's necessary, especially with how close the result was. So anytime you have this really close election, I think if it's less than 100,000 votes in a state, let's do a recount automatically. What's the, Where's the problem in that? Yes, it takes time, effort, and resources, but isn't it worth it for our democracy? Isn't making sure that the result was fair and that the American people's voices was in fact heard? Isn't that more important? And look, again, I'll just leave by saying, please, next time uh, one section of the population is worried about the integrity of democracy, don't just laugh at them and call them conspiracy theorists because it could come back and impact the candidate of your choice one day. So, yes, I, I am worried about democratic integrity. I say let's do a recount. If you want to support Jill Stein's initiative, there's a link down below. But look, let's be consistent. If we see voting anomalies and irregularities and potential election fraud, let's stand up against it no matter who it benefits or disadvantages.